Managing tax rate changes in busy. In this presentation, we'll discuss that if there is any tax rate change in the middle of the year, then how you can implement that change in busy. Sometimes an item belonging to a certain tax rate move to a higher tax rate like from 5% to 10% or 12% or an item belonging to a higher tax rate like 12% now falls under the bracket of 5% so how we can handle all these changes in busy we'll discuss in this presentation here first case is that tax rate for all the items under a specific tax rate are changed that is all the items of say 5% tax rate are now moved to 10% tax rate this is just we are taking as an example so how we can handle this case in such a case where all the items of a particular tax rate are moved to another tax rate then we do not need to create a new tax category for them we will simply update the existing tax category for them first of all i would like to explain the concept of tax category basically all the tax related information in busy is contained in the tax category master tax category master contains the information like how much igst cgst or sgst tax rate is to be charged and we tag this tax category to the item master so we'll open here an item master in modify mode and you can see that for this item tax category is specified as gst 5% which means that whenever this item will be used in any transaction tax at the rate of 5% will be charged if we open this tax category master in modify mode using the all time shortcut key from here you can see here tax rate igst is 5% cgst and sgst is 2.5% respectively so now will update this tax category master that is will modify this tax category master as all the items of this tax category are now moved to another rate we'll go to tax category modify option we'll select the gst 5% tax rate tax category here first of all we'll change the name of this tax category to remove any confusion so that uh, by looking at the name of the tax category we can have idea that the, what all information this tax category contains here we'll not change the general tax rate that is the tax rate specified above uh, in the tax rate igst cgst and sgst field this is because these changes have been implemented in the middle of the year let's say at a certain date tax rates are changed so before that date tax rate will remain same like 5% 2.5 and 2.5 here what we will do will specify the new tax rate in the changes in tax rate grid by specifying the with effect from date for example here we have taken the date as 10th december 2019 then we have specified the new tax rate as igst 10% and cgst and sgst 5% each so this mean for the items in which this category is used if that item is used in transactions before 10th of december then 5% and 2.5 and 2.5 rates will be charged but if this item is used in any transaction on or after 10th of december then the tax rate will be 10 and 5% and 5% for igst and cgst sgst respectively so now we have modified our tax category master we we'll go to our item master and we can see that as we have changed the name of the tax category so here its uh, name has automatically been changed so it's showing the tax category with this item as gst 5 to 10% now we'll have a look at the transaction that how the changes we have made will impact the transaction we'll go to sales add option we'll specify the date as 1st december 2019 sale type lgst item wise party cash then we'll select the item same item that we have just opened in the modify mode on pressing the enter key on the amount field you can see an item wise gst window is appearing which is showing the tax rate cgst as 2.5% and sgst as 2.5% why because this transaction is entered before 10th of december so the previous tax rates will be charged now we'll save this transaction and we'll enter another sales transaction here in this transaction we are specifying the date as 11th december 2019 that is after the 10th december date the date after which the tax rates have been changed so again we'll select the same sale type item wise party cash same item we are selecting now on pressing the enter key on the amount field you can see it's showing the tax rate cgst as 5% and sgst as 5% This is because this transaction is entered after the 10th of December. So this is the concept of modifying the tax category master and specifying the tax rate from with effect from date. So this is the case we have discussed where all the items of a certain tax rate are moved to another tax rate. Now we'll discuss our case 2 that is tax rate for some of the items changed to another tax rate. For example, some items belonging to 12% tax rate are now moved to 18% tax rate. 
some of the items of 12% are moved to 28% tax rate and some of the remaining items still remain in the 12% tax rate. So we'll discuss how we will handle this situation where items belonging to a particular tax rate are moved to different different tax rate. In such a case, we'll not modify the existing tax category masters, we'll create new tax category master. For creating tax category master, we'll go to tax category add option. Specify the name of the tax category here. We are specifying the name as GST 12 to 18 percent. That is, it will be for the items which were earlier in the 12 percent bracket and now they are in the 18 percent bracket. Here again, we'll specify the new tax rate from the with effect from date. Although we are creating a new tax category master, but we'll not specify the change rate in the above details will specify those change from with effect from date so above we are specifying the tax rate as igst 12 percent cgst and sgst 6 percent each and with effect from 10 december that is whatever the date from which the tax changes are being implemented will specify the new tax rate so we have taken the with effect from date as 10th december then igst as 18 percent and cgst and sgst 9 percent each click save button to save this tax category master next we will create one more tax category master with the name gst 12 to 28 percent that is for those items which were earlier in the 12 percent bracket and now they are moved to 28 percent bracket here again in the with effect from date we'll specify the date from which the changes will take place igst is 28 percent cgst and sgst 14 percent each and above where the general information is specified will specify the previous tax rate that is IGST 12% and CGST and SGST 6% each. Click save button to save this tax category master. Till now we have created two new tax category masters. We have updated an existing tax category master, modified an existing tax category master. Now we will see that how we will update tax category master and item master. That is the new tax category that we have just created how we will update them in the item master. For this, there are certain ways. First of all, we'll discuss the case where we want to update tax category in individual item master. For this, we'll go to item modify option. Basically, here we need to open each and every item in the modify mode and then update the tax category master. So we are opening an item in the modify mode. Here you can see the tax category is GST 12% and now we have changed it to GST 12 to 28%. Next we are opening another item master in the modify mode. Here again tax category is GST 12% and we are changing it to GST 12 to 18%. Next, we are opening one more item in modify mode. Here, the tax category is GST 12% and we are not changing this tax category master as this item still remains in the 12% tax rate. So, all the three cases we have covered where one item of 12% is changed to 18%, one item of uh, tax rate 12% is changed to 28% and one item still remains in the 12% tax rate. This is the case where we are updating tax category individually for each item. If you want to update tax category item master in bulk, then you can use the bulk updations option provided in the master menu. In the bulk updation menu, we'll select the multiple item creation modification option. On clicking this option, you can see at the top two options are appearing add new master, modify existing master. So first of all, we are modifying the existing masters. You can see on the screen various columns are appearing. You can add more columns to this or you can remove certain columns from this as per your requirement so we'll click the select field button we are removing the opening amount and stock columns as we do not need them currently and we are adding the tax category column here so you can see on the screen tax category column is appearing now we'll click the load masters button to load the list of the master that we want to update here you can load the list for all items or group of items so first of all we are viewing the list for a particular group of items we have selected all the items of the group and on the screen you can see all the items belonging to the cheese item group are appearing on the screen first item we have updated using the item modify option in the next two items we are updating the tax category from gst 12 percent to 28 percent if there would have been more items in this group all those items would have appeared on the screen and we can make the required changes we are again opening this utility and going to load masters button now we are viewing the list of all the master we have enabled the select all options and you can see on the screen all the item masters are appearing here you can make the required changes like uh, some items are still belonging to gst 12 percent here one item we are changing from gst 12 percent to gst 18 percent 
so you can update text category master in all the item master using a single screen apart from this there one more utility provided under the administration bulk updations menu this is update item text category hsn code in this utility you can see at the top two options are provided tax category and hsn code you can basically modify records on the basis of tax category or hsn code if there is at any point of time some changes in hsn code then you can use this utility also currently we are updating the tax category masters and item master so we'll select the tax category option here you can either view the list of all items group of items or selected items first of all we are selecting the group of items option and we have selected the item group as package juice then we'll specify the tax category new tax category that is gst 12 to 18% and click the save button on clicking the save button busy has asked in a message that do you want to update this particular tax category in all the item masters belonging to the specified item group that is package juices click yes button and all the item master that belong to package juice group and all those item the tax category has been updated from gst 12 to gst 12 to 18 percent next we are selecting the selected items option now we are selecting the items of our own choice you can see on the screen we have selected certain items from four to five items now we are specifying the new tax category they will update this new tax category master in all the items that we have selected so using this utility you can update tax category masters in bulk in item group wise for selected items or for all the items in this presentation we have discussed that how we can manage tax rate changes in busy hope after going through this presentation you would be able to easily manage tax rate changes in busy thanks for watching for more videos subscribe to our youtube channel